Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I am Shar, and welcome to another episode of Faith Friday. Today, I'll be coming to you from Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. And it reads in the New King James translation. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain, you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. You ever wonder why there's this natural not getting alongness between man and woman? Well, this is a result of the fall of man. God dipped out punishment as he see fit because he is just, he is righteous, he is holy. So everybody involved got a punishment. You may have heard people say, I blame Eve. Well, the, even as scripture says, Eve initially was deceived by the serpent. Adam was deceived by his wife. The serpent disobeyed the command of God and what God, he pretty much just flipped the script. Like, you know what? I know what God said, but let me tell you. Do you think you're going to die? Because ser the serpent knew that this was a spiritual death. But Eve didn't understand that. So she was deceived. And then hence, Adam comes along and says, you know what? My wife has ate this fruit. Death was mentioned if we were to eat this fruit, but she is not dead. In fact, she may even have appeared more appealing to him because they ate fruit. And now they can see each other's nakedness. They can see each other's body for what they're currently used for today. And she may even appeal to be of more wisdom at this point because she has done something that he didn't do that seems okay at the time because, again, she didn't naturally physically die. She's still alive and she's still talking and she seems to have a hint of knowledge of good and evil. So... We may sit around and say there's a lot of talk and a lot of joke about, you know, women and men not getting along, um, problems with marriage and relationships. You know, it's just from A to Z. There's a lot going on in the world. Um, a lot of times I often have to remind even myself that any strife, any chaos, any. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Any struggles that we have as husband and wife as man and woman, is a result of the fall of man. Even if you aren't into your Bible study and, you know, studying God's word, you may say, well, I don't have a comprehension level of understanding what this all means because a lot of people just know Eve ate a fruit and now we got to struggle. Um, but to be more specific, we can actually narrow down these struggles directly to the source of the fall of man, such as what I said. Marital issues. The divorce rate is at an all-time high. Um, there's always a communication issue in marriages and relationships. Why? Because of the fall of man, because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. All of that can be traced back to what happened at that point in time. How do we combat this? One, we can't undo the past. So there's no need for us going around saying, I hate Eve, I hate Adam. Like, I know people joke and say that, but on a realistic note, you know, it happened. It occurred. That's all part of God's plan, which is why we need a savior, which is why we need to make sure we're in God's word still and we read the whole picture and the whole matter so we can get to a point of full understanding of why everything had to happen the way it did. But for now, because obviously you can't read the whole Bible today, I just want you to meditate on this passage and what happened in the beginning. And then think about all the problems you may have as a woman as a woman in a world of men and women, as a woman in a marriage, as a woman um, in friendships, as a woman with their children, because there was a two-part uh, or two-piece punishment for the woman, you will bear children in pain. Nobody can tell you how bad pregnancy is better than me. It was hard. It was rough from beginning to end. Now, I didn't have to experience labor, but many and most women do. And they can tell you there is almost nothing equivalent to that pain. And this is a result of the fall of man and Eve being disobedient 
with the serpent. He convinced her. He put a thought in her mind and she accepted. So I, I say this to encourage each and every one of us to anytime we have disagreements with our husbands, our wives, anytime we have struggles and situations, please do not focus only on the person themselves. Think beyond the point that this was all for a purpose and a bigger and greater picture. And thank God for our Savior because we can be saved and redeemed. And even from this passage of discussing women um, bearing children in pain, women are saved through the pain of childbirth. This is the repercussion of the sin. So it's like paying for your debt that happened with, at, with Eve. So if you experience pain and struggle and whatever else you got going on, just count it all joy. <laughs> I know that may be hard to self and take on right now, but just be joyful that God's will and plan is still panning out because hello, our Savior is still yet to return. Amen. So I know this may seem silly, but for me, it was just like, you know what? Whenever we have a disagreement, whenever we have an argument, um, whenever I uh this like step out of my role or whenever I feel like he isn't loving me the way he should or that connection isn't there I just will think back on this scripture that you know what this is the result of that and even in the midst of you know being agonizing and, and pain and regret and stressful that you know what nobody wants to argue nobody wants to fuss nobody wants to go through marital problems or situations in their marriage or um, relationship problems but we are redeemed. We have our Savior. He saved us. We are saved through childbirth. So we pretty much flip the script for our own personal self um, once we have those and bore those children in pain. And we are to count it all joy. We are to be glad that there was an ultimate resolution to what took place then. Like that wasn't the end. Like, can you imagine that if that was it? But it's not. There's a bigger and better picture all around us and we just are to you know be mature enough to think beyond the moment and it's hard it is so hard you guys i know it is like when you're fussing and you're arguing and you're having issues and disagreements and you just and that thing and you just like oh just why can't we get along and why can't we just come together but the fall of man think about that the fall of man i love you guys god bless take care bye